at nine, my father passed away. Um, at 10, uh, 10 to 11 years old, I was being going through the court system. Basically, somebody was trying to determine where I was going to go, just to give a little background. And I ended up going with my stepmother. My birth mother, she was not really in my life. So then growing up, I decided I'm not going to do be like other people and what I other see other people do. Having my daughter changed my life. I knew then it was time. I didn't want her coming up in the way that I came up. I wanted her to have a solid foundation. I wanted her to be, I wanted to be that person that she looked up to, you know? And then also it inspired me to name it, name my business after my daughter because we call her Diva. So the Coco Diva. <laughs> so okay. I took a little bit of my story with her story and made Coco Diva. I was always taught as I grew up in church and becoming on my own, if I wasn't singing, it was always to give and be, you know, genuinely show that you care and also, you know, be there for everybody, everybody that I can. Because what you give out, you give, it comes back to you. With the queens, that gets me excited. I love helping the queens. I'm doing promotions for the queens. I am doing hosting events to help queens grow their businesses as well outside of doing my cosmetic company and also just networking and we're all meeting each other and growing and learning and going. If anything, never give up, get up and try again, always. And most of all, keep queening. Hehehehe. <laughs>